All right. Welcome back. Welcome Hi, back. Cotter. Uh, actually, Hello, let's back up a little bit before the uh, yeah. Naga disappears. Yeah. Uh, um, she asks the crowd, are there any other inquiries that must be made before we finish? Where can Matthias be found? If I may. Uh, she relays that. And the Naga responds, That is not for me to say. Thank you. We go kill him. Yeah. I'm gonna kill him. I'm not even gonna kill him. Any, just any other inquiries? No, I'm good. You see a few of the uh, death elves do speak up and, yeah. uh, and ask a question in the language and get, get responses back of varying sorts of questions. And then the Naga goes, and then there's the... Oh, and then the sacrament. The, 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 yeah. the sacrament. <coughs> Did you... Okay, so that's done. They all kind of begin to trail out. Oh. And sure Alessaria kind of Doesn't beckons matter. you up. It was very helpful. Thank you. And How do you feel? <clears throat> hmm? Are you or not? It was interesting <laughs> from where does such a creature come? That is the veil. They they are the primary overseers of the veil. They report, so to speak, to the veil lord. Interesting. I never even heard of such a creature until we spoke to. Why are you British, Rand? Sir Jarlac. Because he's a servant. <laughs> are you implying something? Yes. <laughs> We've all seen Fresh Prince. Until we spoke. Oh, yes. Master William. In West Philadelphia. West Underdark, boy. <laughs> <laughs> At the temple is where I spent most of my days. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. that's, that's, that's good. That was it. I was just wondering where the snake came from. Oh, excellent question. Did you have any questions? Anyone? I know that he said that he couldn't tell me where Matthias Greylock resides. Yes. But would you have any tips for how I might track him down? I would say that the easiest path there would be to submit an inquiry to the guild. The guild is very good at finding people. I will do that. Thank you. You work for the guild, so... Uh, yes, you, the people you work for. The group. All the guild. Done. I still don't really know much about said guild or what my role is or... Okay, that's fair thing. Um, so the guild is basically, uh, it's just called the guild, but it's really a bunch of the, uh, like, a bunch of sub-guilds. So, like, you have blacksmith guilds, tanners, uh, farmers, artificers, artificers, yeah. artificers okay. merchants, etc. Uh, and they have, over time, combined into the guild, which is the overarching surface it's the government government that is in by Darren. They're not as prevalent everywhere else. They have a few locations. They got together uh, to make Pyderon great again. So um, <laughs> a key element to the guild is oh, Penumbra. So Penumbra is a, is a group of assassins that is basically run or overseen by the guild. Who unknown to um, us he's a part of. Yeah, they, uh. yeah, they, so basically, anytime that there's corruption, like uh, merchants being overly 
corrupt um, political leaders abusing their power, that sort of thing. They are sent a note, essentially, kind of like from the Dark Brotherhood, like, we know, stop doing this or we're going to kill you. Mm -hmm. uh, and usually that will stop <laughs> whatever was happening. But sometimes it doesn't. And so they sent the number in to take care of the problem. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You almost quoted the uh, intro monologue to Hercules' The Legendary Journeys for a second there. Hmm? What? He almost quoted Hercules' The Legendary Journeys. Oh. Monologue. Wherever there is evil, wherever an innocent would suffer, there would be an <laughs> Essentially, yes. They are uh, good assassins, essentially. Okay, we Which can get by with that. Somewhat contradictory because you, <laughs> you kind of kill people, but I it I works. lost my job. Let's <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, I don't know. Do you do you need directions to anywhere in the city before you go back to the Black Widow, or is is there any place you're wanting to go? Yes. Um. Would there happen to be any apothecary shops that we could stop by? Yes. Yes, there are. We would absolutely love directions to to an apothecary. Fantastic. That would be called the. Uh, what am I going to call that? I can't get a luring mole out of my head, <laughs> so yeah, uh, I don't think that's the right uh, title. <laughs> oh, I got the orb it. weaver. It's going to be a little alliteration here. Uh, it is the the it be the poisoner's paradise. Ooh, lovely! I like and, how that just blatantly named that. <laughs> and now, would this shop also have um, oddities and trinkets that I could get as well, or is there another place that we would need to visit for that? It's for, like, a touristy gift shop? Mm. <laughs> Love it. Um, yes, a dark elf bobblehead. <laughs> right? <laughs> um, I'm thinking along the lines of um, some rare stones or maybe some local incense, some um, things that I can pick up and... The, you, uh, she's looking for a CVS. The Only in the underdark. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty <laughs> the, much. Some dry the shampoo. The apothecary, uh, unlike the name of the place, does carry things other than poisons. Okay. Uh, although it does specialize in poisons. Okay. So mm. like, it does have things like incense that we use regularly. Uh, and A gift shop would be great, like too. Oddities. We don't really have... <laughs> tourists uh, <laughs> in the conventional sense mm -hmm. so we, there's not really been any need for a uh, tourist type gift shop but there is a general store okay great if you wish to peruse that general store <laughs> <sighs> did you want to go to do that like the next morning or because well, it's, at this point, as far as you know, it's probably around 10 o'clock. How do they tell time down here? That's a great question. So, magic. it is with magic. Um, I'm not going to blatantly steal the Menzo Berenzon thing. I could, but I'm not. <laughs> uh, with the heated central stone that like cools yeah. throughout the day and then they reheat it the next morning uh, but there are um, using there's a smattering of gnomish technology down here uh, okay is there so like clockworks there, there are clocks okay that can kind of shape the time so it's it is a little after 10 Mm -hmm. This is a long ceremony. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you probably might have dozed a little bit. Well, perhaps we'll just attend to that tomorrow. Yeah. Go to bed next morning. Uh, comes, you have a nice breakfast of mushrooms 
and some other. Uh, there's there's a meat that it's not really it's clear. There's even what spam it is. in the underdark. Rand takes his in his room. <laughs> <laughs> you can't do that. Yes, and he does. The mushrooms are very good. The meat is kind of stringy, uh, but it isn't bad as far as, you know, what it is. It's servant meat, isn't it's, it? It's not servant <laughs> meat. No, this this isn't like Sweeney Todd kind of stuff. <laughs> no. You can inquire as to what it is if you'd like. Yeah. Meh. But. Meh. Mole. Mole. <laughs> It's mole. Meat. Mole. Huh? It's chair meat. It's chair meat. <laughs> it's chair meat. <laughs> Man. Man, does this taste like chair to you? <laughs> <laughs> Great. My breakfast is scuttling off the table. Did you know that those chairs had like four more legs than they're supposed to? <laughs> it's for you uh, can. added sturdy. Like looking sturdiness. at the menu, there is a dish that is like has spider in it. Uh, like, there's like a, there are several. There's like a section that says spider. Spider tartare. So there's like spider soup and... Cream yeah. of spider. Cream of spiders. <laughs> <laughs> braised, braised spider legs and asparagus. Uh, yeah, it's, it's <laughs> not in any way appealing to you. No. no. But they're dead, so that appeals to you. Not... <laughs> anyway, I guess. so are you going to the general store first or to the apothecary? Mm, 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 apothecary. All right, cool. The Poisoner's Paradise. There is a, a beautiful death elf woman at the desk or counter uh, who has a what looks like is likely an acid burn on uh, her left cheek, but it doesn't take away from her. Like all of the all of the death elves are, you know, they got something they got, a little yeah. hurty on them. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, okay. no, like they're all super attractive. Oh, okay, I get what you're saying. Now. The genetic bloodline is that way. Um, she's no exception despite the acid burn uh, I'll get a name for you in just a second <laughs> because reasons I don't have that as I'm making this shit up as I go <clears throat> Ooh. okay I like that noticing that you are not in fact death elves she, uh, she can't speak calm so, just, greetings. Uh, I am Thalma. Thalma. No, sorry, Thalra. With an R, not an M. Thalra. What brings you to the Poisoner's Paradise? <coughs> well, hello, Thalra. My name's Antinua. This is my servant, Rand, and his companion, Bark. Are you guys there, too? I don't, I don't know y'all's anyway. names anyway. Don't worry about us. Okay. Um, okay. We I are... Didn't <laughs> I didn't realize I'd even went, but okay. But we're here. Yeah, sir, you said that you, you needed to. You had asked here. about it. You were told to go. I, I did. Just go on. Just go on. I, I'll explain later. We okay. Are, <coughs> we are needing to um, collect a few things, and I've actually taken the liberty of assembling the list and employing that task to my servant. So, Rand, dear, would you please tell the woman what you need? Are you going to have those 12 potions identified? Actually. <laughs> because you can. Yeah, since I'm here, yes. <laughs> I just happen to have these, and we're not in tight. We came about them through our travels, and we're just wondering exactly what are these? Pull out oh. the 12 potions and let's see what we get. May I take a look? Yes, you may. And so like you said, down on on the counter. She takes uh, she takes five of them immediately and kind of sets them on the side. 
these are healing potions. Uh, three, three of those are just the regular healing ones, and two are greater. Mm-hmm. <coughs> uh, she kind of takes one that is a uh, kind of very dull red glow. She 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 un- uncorks it and I think kind of takes a sniff, but just stop her back in. This this one is uh, this one will make you stronger. It's a potion of fire giant strength, mm-hmm. which would make your strength like. Something I forget what it is. Hang on, I'll tell you in a second. If you can note it, uh, twenty-five. It'll is that permanent? No, okay. <laughs> for Same. one. It's for one hour. Okay. <laughs> no, it's not permanent. The next one, uh, or the next two, I guess. These two will allow you to breathe underwater. Ooh, water breathing! I can already do that. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Let's see. Do they describe what these look like? That would be cool. Uh, so the water breathing potions, it's a cloudy green fluid, smells of the sea, and has a jellyfish-like bubble floating in it. Hmm. That's cool. This one, um, it's a blue potion that bubbles and steams as if it's boiling. It's, it's not boiling, of course, but... This this potion will make you f- uh, f- feel a bit more heroic, if you will. It's a potion of heroism. What that does, if you want to make a quick note of that, uh, you gain 10 temporary hit points that last for an hour, and for the same duration, you are under the effect of the Bless spell. No concentration required. What's that, give you advantage, or...? Uh, I forget. Uh, yeah, we'll look, look at the spell. Yeah. Uh, this one is, and this potion is, uh, has three layers. Uh, one is brown, one is silver, one is gray. They resemble bands of stone. Shaking the bottle fails to mix the colors. So that's kind of neat. Uh, this potion will allow you to climb for one hour. It gives you a climb speed equal to your walking speed for one hour. Spider climb potion? Uh, it's a potion of climbing. Oh, okay. Yeah. Ah, uh, this one. This one's very, uh, very interesting. The red in, in this potion's liquid continuously contracts to a tiny bead and then expands to color the clear liquid around it. Um, when you drink this, you shrink down. <laughs> for 1d4 hours she won't say that obviously because it's not a thing like that but it lasts uh, the, the time it lasts is a little random but uh, you, you gain the reduce effect of the enlarge reduce spell they just call it a potion of drinking sure well technically it's called a potion of dim, diminution and what, we got one more? Uh, shrinking, huh? Yep, there's one more. This one... I wouldn't uh, drink it he- around here if it's all the same. Um, this potion's container appears empty, but feels as though it holds a liquid. This will allow you to become invisible for one hour. Nice. And in fact, this one's a little bigger because, like you, you've seen potions of invisibility before. Yeah. Right. This is a little bit bigger. Um, this one is a uh, major visibility potion of greater invisibility. Okay, that's really <coughs> really nice. Uh, it doesn't last as long, so like it'll last for a minute instead of an hour, right? But you can it doesn't attack. break when you're when you attack. You can yeah. attack and remain invisible. <clears throat> okay, I missed the first few of those. What? I missed the first few of those. I'm just writing down the parallel door. Oh, well, uh, well, you didn't hear what they were. Uh, but it was, like, yeah, five healing potions, 
potion of fire, giant strain. Okay, the healing potions are in. Which kind of healing potion? Uh, five or uh, three regular healing, two greater healing. Um, two water breathing, heroism, spider cl- or climbing, shrinking, and greater invisibility. Mm-hmm. I, I I very much like this sort of thing. Do you have anything else you need to find? I haven't been able um, to do this in a long time. Cool. Uh, well, uh, I have a large amount of items, actually, if if you can uh, yes. appraise other types of things other than potions. I can. Then I uh, open up the bag that I guess that I brought with me, and the... Hello. Uh, the only things we need identify... We need these scrolls. <laughs> like, I... Pull out the six scrolls to begin with. Okay. Yeah. Spell scrolls. <coughs> I may be interested in purchasing some of these. If that's if you have interest in selling them, I guess we'll see. All right. First one you get is a blink. Mm-hmm. Nice. Which is a pretty handy spell. Uh, where if you like at at the end of your turn, end you of your roll turn. a d twenty. If it's eleven. Or higher. or higher, you blink into the ethereal plane. Mm-hmm. If it's not, then you just stay. So it's kind of cool. Um, you have one of the scrolls is identify. Huh. Interestingly enough, um, one is phantom steed, which will summon a spectral uh, horse or some other sort of associated mount. Legend lore. It's a pretty high level spell, actually. Basically, Legend Lore allows you to um, learn. So, like, you cast a spell and you name an, 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 an object and you can learn. I was about to say, uh, there is. Do- Dooney had that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Dooney. I couldn't remember yeah. his name. Um, Stone Skin. Which I believe gives you resistance to bludgeoning damage. And Big Beast Hand. What's up? Big Beast Hand! <clears throat> okay, and then after that, I, uh. <laughs> well, I guess I just go through the things. I stuff those back in, thanking her, and mm-hmm. I pull out that uh, rod. Oh, yes. This. And she kind of. Pulls out a pair of, of ruined glasses. Let's see, let's see. This is a rod of alertness. Hmm. Yes. Let's see if I have a picture of it. I'll show you what it looks like. I don't know. The only rod we have is the immovable rod right now, isn't it? Don't have it. Cool. Uh, this rod has a flanged head and the following properties. While holding the rod, uh, by the way, it does require attunement. What kind of rod is it? Called a rod of alertness. alertness. While holding the rod, you have advantage on wisdom perception checks and on rolls for initiative. That's pretty handy. While holding the rod, you can use an action to cast one of the following spells from it. Detect evil and good. Detect magic. Detect poison and disease. Or see invisibility. Interesting. I like it. Protective aura. As an action, you can plant the half end of the rod in the ground. Whereupon the rod's head sheds bright light in a 60 foot radius and dim light for an additional 60 feet. While in that bright light, you and any creature that is friendly to you gain a plus one bonus to armor class and saving throws and can sense the location of any invisible hostile creature that is also in the bright light. The rod's head stops glowing and the effect ends after 10 minutes or when a creature uses an action to pull it from the ground. This property cannot be used again until the next dawn. 
I like it. Yeah. And and is that time? That's time. <coughs> that is time. I think we'll do one more. One more. Adios. Later. Let me get you some bats.